today we're going to create these logos and the first one we're going to create two or three different variations because sometimes it's good to give a client options so let's get started but before we do that let's make sure that we click on these icons up here or these tools that our options pop up below because a lot of times the options over here like here's your paint brushes and here your fonts over here and we want to make sure we can just click over here and get the options on the bottom because we need to use those so go up here and go to the top right corner to two icon and add tab and then of course tool options if this is already here just go ahead and left click it and drag it over to the blue area and let it go now we have the options here if you have that already cool let's get started okay the first logo we're going to do is let's go up to file down to new or we can press control or command plus n as in nancy we're going to make it 1920 by 1920 go down to advanced options and make sure we have 300 dpi and that we fill this in or the background is white first thing we're going to do here is create guide so go up to image down to guides and to new guide by percentage here we're going to create a vertical guide at 50 percent and go back down to guides and of course make this horizontal at 50 percent make sure that snap to grid is enabled now we're set so go to your ellipse tool or press e as an edward on your keyboard left click and drag out a circle left click in the middle here and just drag it over and snap that little dot to the center there now we have a circle let's go up to select and go down to path okay you can't see anything yet go to select and none or press shift plus control plus command plus a as an apple to see something we have to go over here to paths over here left click that just click on that and now click on the eyeball and we can see our red circle and we're going to wrap our text around that circle let's go back up to layers and let's go over to our text tool or press T as in Tom on your keyboard left click and drag make sure the text is black or the foreground color is black we can change the font size to 75 and type whatever you want to type now we're going to duplicate this so go down to the duplicate icon here or press Control or command plus d as in david and that's going to be our bottom text so go to our move tool or press m as in mary now if you click this make sure that there's a border that highlights kind of grayish around here otherwise you're going to move the background so move that down let's shift this up now we have text one and text two top text and bottom text go back to our text tool we'll press t as in tom and let's go ahead and change the bottom text i'm going to speed this up a little bit Okay, now click on the background, you see what we got. So now we'll click on the top text and go up to text to path. There it is, but it's not set yet. Let's create a new layer. We can also press shift plus control plus command plus N as in Nancy. We'll call the top layer text one. Make sure it is transparent. Now go back to paths and go down to path to selection. So now it's a circular text. Go back to layers. Let's go up to edit. And let's go down to fill with our foreground color, which in this case is black. Go back to select and click none. Or we can press shift, control, command, plus A as an apple. Let's go to our rotate tool. We can press shift plus R as in red. Left click here and turn left. Just line that up with the line there click rotate or press enter go back to layers okay that's what we have so that's what our paths looks like we can turn those on and off we can delete that now because we have the text around our circle already we don't need the path anymore if that makes sense okay click on background let's duplicate that background we can press Control command plus d as in david because i want to use that as a transparent background later so we don't need that text there anymore now let's go ahead and click on the bottom text 
press M as in Mary for the move tool. Let's go ahead and flip this because it's going to come in upside down. Click on path right here. Click on the bottom line here where we want that text to go. Now go over and click on layer. Now click on your text. Go up to text along path. We got that going now. And now as you can see it's flipped right side up. So we'll create another layer. We'll call this text too. And make sure it's transparent as well. All right, come back up to paths. We'll right click on that and go down to path to selection. There we go. Go over to layers, go up to edit, and fill with foreground color. Select none. Now we're going to go and rotate this. So shift R as in red, left click and turn and rotate that. Press enter or click rotate. Okay, now we'll go back to paths. We can look at that, turn it on, turn it off. We don't need those really anymore. Let's go back to layers, of course, here. Go to background. Now I want to create a circle here. So go to our ellipse tool, press E as in Edward. Left click and drag. Place that in the middle. Now we're going to right click here and go down to select and then down to border. We're going to make this five pixels and we can make this hard. We can feather it. We can also make it smooth. So let's make this hard. Press OK. Now let's fill this with black. So go up to edit and go down to fill with foreground color. Select and none. All right, we're getting started here. Now let's go back up to image, down to guides, and remove all guides. Because now we have our center. Let's go back up to the ellipse tool, press E as an Edward. Let's create an inner circle. Move that into place, and we're going to make this circle gray. Now we're going to right click this, go to select and go down to border. We're going to make this three. Now we'll go over here to our foreground color box and we're going to change this to a grayish tone about right there. Press OK. Now we'll go up to, of course, edit. Down to fill with foreground color. And let's remove those ants, those marching ants. Select none. Go back to our text tool. Now we'll create our mad U text here. Change our color back to black. Change our font size to 100. And type in mad U. M space. Now we'll select that and we'll just go up until we fill that box. All right there. Go to our move tool, or press M as in Mary. Okay, now let's go back to our ellipse tool. Let's click, left click and drag. Bring that circle down right there. Then we'll click here on our background and we'll move up to add alpha channel. This is going to be transparent. Once we get that transparency, now we'll go up to our ellipse tool again and we'll create another circle. Press E as an Edward. Drag out your circle. And we're going to fill that circle with white, so go up to edit. Now go down to fill with background colors, not the foreground color. So we have options here. I like that border though. So let's put that border on our transparent file. And this will be saved as a ping file. We'll press E and go back up to your ellipse tool and left click and drag and grab the corners to move it into place and be more precise and we're going to create a border here so right click select border i'll make it three okay and go to edit and we're going to fill now back with the foreground color select none and now we have our border. 
So we have different options. We can show clients. There's your border. And again, this is not very difficult to do. Another option was to have the bottom text just go straight across like that. And I showed you that in the example where you can just bring it up and just remove the circles and resize it. And these are all your options here. You can turn them off and on and show clients different samples. Okay, let's add color to this. So let's go up to the MADU text, bring it up to the top. Let's go to our text tool or press T as in Tom. Left click and drag across and let's go to our black box or our color box and change that to red. Let's change the A to like a gold color and the D to a bluish color. And then we're going to pop it off the paper a little bit. So we're going to use a filter to do that. So let's go up to filters and go down to decor and then go over to add bevel. Now nothing's going to happen if you slide this over, but once you hit OK, you'll see the changes. There you go. Looks a lot better. It pops off the paper a little bit better. What you should do is play around with these filters because you can find unique logo concepts and designs that you can make money off of. And if you can learn how to do taglines, uh, that would be even better. I provided links to that. Let's go ahead and drop a shadow. Let's go to lights and shadows and drop shadow. And you can see you can slide this back and forth and get a different result or effect. So there are different options you can show your potential client. And again, there are links below, so check those out. Now, let's go ahead and bring in a different logo. Go to File, down to New. Make it 1080 by 1080. Same 300 DPI and a white background. Let's go over to our Rectangle tool or press R as in red. Left click and drag. And there's our Rectangle. Now I'm going to go up to our colors. We're going to make our foreground color, put it about right there, press OK, and then of course go up to edit and fill with our new foreground color. So now we're at text. This is really simple. Left click and drag, type T for our text tool, change the font color to white. And we'll change the font size to, hmm, how about 80? We'll try that. We'll change the font type to Railway Bold. Left click and type whatever you want. And now I'm going to make University not bold but light. So go ahead and backspace or delete that and type in light. Any font would do. If you don't have this font, download that from dafont.com. Let's change our font size to 90. That should be okay. And now we can move this around. So press M as in Mary and move it. Now go to select and none. Now if your canvas size gets out of whack like that, we'll fix that later. Press R again. Let's create a border here for our rectangle tool. Now right click. Go to select and down to border. And we'll make this two pixels. Go up to edit and we're going to fill that with our background color this time not our foreground color because it's white go up to select and none to remove those margin ants and now we can see what we have so now we're going to go up to our pencil tool or press n as in nancy make sure the hardness is all the way over to the right and of course your size is zero pick the smallest brush here and we're going to hold shift and left click right here and then drag and then click and drag and create a pyramid. Click and drag and then let go. Now go over to your bucket tool, shift plus B as in boy, your bucket fill tool and left click because we have blue selected as our foreground color and there we go. So now we have to add text so go up to your text tool, press T as in Tom, left click and drag and type EST period 1899. Change your font color to white.
and we can click here and look at that let's make that font size 44 a little bit smaller and now we'll move this up and to correct that canvas go up to image and come down to crop to content and there we go that's our second logo and it's pretty simple and it was pretty quick and easy to make all right let's move on to logo number three so again go up to file and down to new or just control or command n as in nancy 1080p this time we're going to make the background color black not white got that set now go up to our text tool press t as in tom left click and drag we're going to make this text pretty big so let's change the font to 400 and we'll change the color to white rc we'll just try that initial font let's change the C to green, left click it and select it, change it to green. Now we have a green C. And now we can use the move tool to center that or we can press Q and go into our alignment tools. And let's go ahead and get that centered up. Let's go up to our text tool and we're gonna select the C, we wanna move the C over. So let's current this and click on the down arrow and move that C over the R, about right there. I can also, let's go back over to our ellipse tool, press E. Let's create a circle here, right click, select, and then let's make this five. Now let's bring in white here. Let's go up to our edit and down to fill with now the background color. Select none. All right, let's bring in more text on the bottom. Let's change the color to white first. Let's get our font down to 75. Let's change it back to railway bold. No, let's go railway medium. And let's call this royalty careers. Let's also change the royalty to green. So you can do that. And now this is our basic logo. Now I can, of course, change a lot of the effects with filters. So play with these filters because they're really cool. But right now what I want to do is pop that image off the page a little bit. So let's go up to filters. Let's go down to decor and over to add bevel. Click OK. As you can see, it pops off a little bit. And so we can change this and we can do a lot of things with these filters. So play around with them. Just showing you a few things you can do to make your logos look pretty cool. Okay, so when you're done, we have different options here. So what we want to do is click on an image we want to save, go to New from Visible, and then drag it up to the top. And now when we export, we're only going to export that particular image. So we can do this three or four times, many times we need to. This is the one that's going to actually export on top. And then do the same for each one you want to export separately. Now to export, we can go to file and go down to export as, or we can press shift plus control or command plus E as an Edward. If it's a transparent file, make sure you save it as a PNG. Otherwise, save it any way you want. All right, happy creating. Find out more at midamericandreamers.org.